What's up everybody, welcome back to Peyton's Picks, my name is Peyton, uh, this is a show all about football's playoffs right now, Wild Card Weekend, I'm accompanied here with my co-host, Josiah Hall, he is a sports expert, whatever he says goes. We're going to jump right into this thing, we have some Saturday games, Saturday AFC, 4.30pm, Cleveland Browns, number 5 seed versus Houston Texans, number 4 seed, for my pick, I am choosing the Cleveland Browns. Now listen, I feel like the Browns are a better team here. They have veteran quarterback who has won the Super Bowl and Joe Flacco. He um, probably wouldn't come back player of the year, but that's a different topic. And they're also playing C.J. Stroud, who's probably the greatest rookie quarterback we've ever seen. Maybe greatest rookie of all time. But he's a rookie, okay? And this is a very bruised Texans team, let me tell you. I also do think that Miles Garrett on the other end of the ball is going to disrupt this game a lot for CJ Stroud. And expect him to have a few pressures, maybe a couple sacks. And we saw what he did against the Colts. So I'm going to say 31 28 with a game winning field goal. Alright, so I have the Browns because uh, they're older and way more experienced. Um, I think the Texans are young and they don't, they aren't able to match up with the Browns at all. Um, and they, the Browns beat the Texans earlier in the season, 36 to 22. So I have um, Browns winning this one, 28 to 17. Next for AFC, 8 p.m. It'll be number six seed Miami Dolphins versus the number three seed Kansas City Chiefs. My pick is the Chiefs. They should be able to win this playoff. Um, playoff Mahomes is honestly just kind of a different breed and a different level. I know he's kind of in a slump this year, but him personally, besides the interceptions he's thrown, has been doing pretty good. Um, but half the interceptions are off of a wide receiver's hand. So, I mean, how much is that really on him? The Chiefs should win this game, especially because the Dolphins got embarrassed by the Ravens, who are, like, Super Bowl favorites. And the Chiefs, I feel like, are always Super Bowl favorites. So, give me Chiefs 27-23. Um, I have the Dolphins winning this one. I don't think Mahomes can carry his team forever. It's hard to bet against him, though, just because playoff Mahomes is elite. But um, the Chiefs don't have a good receiver core, um, and the Dolphins' secondary is stacked. And um, the Dolphins have an explosive offense, and I don't really trust the um, Chiefs' defense to uh, cover them well because um, they've both been very inconsistent, both teams have. So I think this is going to be a low-scoring game. Give me the Dolphins winning 20-17. to 17. Now we're going to jump into Sunday game. Sunday's game. So AFC at 1 p.m. We have the seventh seed Pittsburgh Steelers versus the number two seed Buffalo Bills. Um, you know, I gotta be honest with you, this should be a win for the Bills. Mason Rudolph has come out and balled out. He is uh, looking very good. But then again, it's Mason Rudolph, and we've all seen what he's been done. Um, you can't be that great forever, especially if you play Miles Garrett. And then the Bills team is just a better team. They uh. They have way better players. They have Josh Allen, who has a turnover problem, but shouldn't against this Pittsburgh secondary. And um, honestly, I think if they shut down, I mean, if they shut down George Pickens, this game's basically over for him because their run has not been that good. And also, you got Gabe Davis and Stephon Diggs on the other side of the ball. It's going to be a nightmare for those cornerbacks. Give me the, give me the Bills, 24-13. I have the Bills. Um, I love the Steelers, but, I mean, come on. We're not going to win. Like, let's be realistic. Um, and, in fact, I think it's going to be hard to watch. Um, the Steelers have no chance because uh, T.J. Watt is out. Um, they'll put some points on the board, but not enough to win. Um, Josh Allen's turnovers have been a problem, but I don't think it will be just because, uh, I don't know. I just feel like the Steelers won't be able to do much. Um, I do think that Joey Porter is going to lock up Stefan Diggs because he's the GOAT. Um, pull this off. I have the Bills winning 31-17. NFC now, 4.30 p.m. We have the 7 seed Green Bay Packers at number 2 seed Dallas Cowboys. My pick is the Cowboys. Um, the Cowboys at home are a very dangerous team, and we've seen that. Um, it's very tough to beat that team at all. But then you throw them at home with the home field advantage, and it's just over. Obviously, the Packers and the Cowboys have had some history. And through the last 10 games, the Packers are 9-1 and against the Cowboys. 
But let's be honest, this is a way different ball game. This is not Aaron Rodgers in for the Packers. This is a lover boy in for the Packers. And Dak Prescott's having an MVP season, which is crazy to say considering by this time he's normally thrown 50 interceptions. CeeDee Lamb also is looking like the greatest draft pick from the 2020 draft, which is very hard to say considering everybody that's come out of that draft. He looks like Justin Jefferson takes pointers from him. Let me tell you, CeeDee Lamb should be MVP if I was in there. Um, his defense also is very good. I mean, you can see when they make the Lions only score 19, and the Lions are one of the hottest teams right now. And they've been dropping very consistently high offensive points. You know they're doing something right. Um, give me 41-27, Cowboys. Um, I have the Cowboys winning this. The Packers have absolutely no chance at all. They're too young and inexperienced. Um, the Cowboys are 8-0 and at home. So, like, Packers, as trash as they are, they're not getting this one. So, sorry, Packers fans. It's going to be a long night for you. Uh, give me the Cowboys 42-10. Another game you've all been waiting for. Stay up on Sunday night for 8 p.m. Woo! Sixth seed Los Angeles Rams, led by Matthew Stafford, at Detroit. Three seed Lions, led by Jared Goff. Yeah. Now, personally, not going to be biased here. I'm professional. I do not be biased, but I am choosing the Lions. Now, Lions at home. We've seen week seven or week eighteen. We saw how loud they were against the Vikings. Now it is the Vikings, but still, I think it's caused multiple penalties of false starts offsides, delay of games. And this is the first playoff game they've had at home in forever. You don't think the fans are going to be loud? Because I do. I also think the linebacker core should do pretty good against these wide receivers. You know, Puka Nakua does good. Cooper Cup does good. But one of the biggest things they do is slant routes. And I think we have one of the better linebacker cores. Our cornerback core is not too great, I will be honest. So if we can get pressure with Hutchinson, Sacks, it's over. We've obviously all seen Matthew Stafford play. We've all seen how he plays, and we all see how we can disrupt that playing. And if you can get this pressure on this man and let him roll out, and then you can get more pressure on him with the linebackers, it should be lights out for them. I think this run game is also very good. The Rams are lacking in run defense, so I feel like Jameer Gibbs and Montgomery should have a great game. But besides that, give me a 31-30 in this shootout, Lions. Um, I am biased, so I'm going to pick the Lions. Uh, the Lions are 6-2 and two at home, um, and the Rams are 5-4 and four away. Uh, one of the biggest parts of their offense is the running game with Kyron Williams. I think he was like second or third in rushing yards, um, and the Lions have the second best rushing defense in the league um, in terms of yards per game. Um, however, they have the sixth worst, pa worst passing defense in the league, and Puka Nakua is dangerous. Um, if they can just stick to him and lock him up and play good defense against him, the Rams are going to get shut down pretty much, at least their offenses. Um, and yeah, the Rams have the 20th best passing defense and the 12th best rushing defense. Um, the Rams have, a, Rams have allowed the fifth most explosive plays in the NFL this season and the Lions lead the league in explosive plays. Um, so I think the Lions' defense, offense will ball out. As long as Goff doesn't fumble it or throw interceptions, um, I have them winning 35-17. to 17. Monday night, we have NFC at 8.15 p.m. It's the very last game for Wild Card Weekend. Number five, Philadelphia Eagles at number four, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now on paper, this should be a blowout for the Eagles. You know, I think they're like 0-4 in the last couple games, and they've not played very good teams. The Eagles are on a very bad slump right now, and they're also at home versus Tampa Bay. So uh, I think Tampa Bay is going to be a sneaky team here. Baker Mayfield in the playoffs is a dog, as we know from the Browns. But uh, I still would like to take Eagles. Let me tell you, when you're in a slump, Drake once said it. Started from the bottom, now you're here. They're on the bottom. they got to be here. They're going to the Super Bowl. Two Pete, Jalen Hurts. I saw him stare at the Kansas City Chiefs when they got the trophy. Everybody knows. Look at J.J. McCarthy. He did that last year versus TCU. Now he's a natty champion. Jalen Hurst is going to be a Super Bowl champion. Give me the Eagles. 24-17. Um, Eagles. This game is going to be absolutely terrible, I'm telling you. Um, the Eagles' only option is to throw the ball because they're passing. The Bucks 
passing defense is absolute garbage. Um, the Eagles' defense is somewhat solid, so I think this will be a defensive struggle, just low scoring. Um, Jalen Hurts has been absolute trash lately, like terrible. Not only that, I'm pretty sure he has um, an injury on his hand, which will affect his throwing ability. Um, so I have the Eagles winning this 17-13. to Tune in next week for the divisional weekend and let's check how many scores we got right.